Hello everybody, my name is Brandy and I used to be a YouTuber here quite a few years ago. I've actually come back to YouTube as an elderly person <laughs> to um, start a journey that I want documented and to advocate for what I'm about to talk about because what I'm about to talk about has a lot of stigma attached to it and there's a lot of misunderstanding about it. I personally don't know a lot about it at this time because I have to do research. Okay, here we go. I have dissociative identity disorder. I actually have not told my family yet, but my partner knows and a friend of mine knows. I was diagnosed with it on three separate occasions since I was in my 20s, but I did not believe I had it. I thought I was... I didn't think I had it. I had moments where I thought I had it and then it would go away and I thought, oh my god, I must have made that up. That has had to have been my imagination. But I was on a certain medication and I'd been on it most of my life and I had to come off of it because of my age. I'm old, don't worry. <laughs> and after coming off of that, uh, my altar started surfacing in a very concrete way. And so one day I was in the shower and Lola Blue introduced herself to me. And then everything just sort of locked in my brain split open and a thousand instances in my life locked into place. And suddenly everything made horrifying sense. <laughs> and so I've been diagnosed with a lot of things throughout my life, and I was misdiagnosed criminally. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> um, I was gaslit. I was told, not because they didn't necessarily do it on purpose, I'm not saying it was on purpose, but I was told I was a liar, a manipulator, and, you know, borderline personality disorder, bipolar disorder, you know, depression. Those types of things tended in, you know, PTSD and CPTSD were diagnoses I had. And then I was diagnosed with DID on three separate occasions by three separate doctors. Though I never believed it until about two months ago, two and a half months ago, when Lola concretely introduced herself to me and made it irrefutable. Mind you, I'm one of the people that I didn't not believe in DID, but after learning that Sybil was iatrogenic and it was not you know, true DID, and I started to doubt whether it existed. I didn't know whether it was a true disorder or it was a disorder of attention seeking because I spent a lot of time around doctors and they seemed to think that DID did not exist and it was basically a desperate attention seeking ploy. Um, and I tended to err on that side until it was made extraordinarily clear to me um, how it started was, I started crying, and I didn't know why. I had no feeling. It was like water was falling down my face. I'd be in the middle of a conversation, tears would just well up, and then the person would be like, why are you upset? And I'm like, I am not upset. This must be a medical problem. <laughs> Something wrong with my tear ducts. Um, and then I had, a, <laughs> I had a debate with my partner on a subject that should not have been as dramatic as it turned out to be. and. We hadn't even been thinking about DID at that time, and so we had some debate on some thing that was not even applicable to, applicable to me. Um, but apparently, some part of me had extraordinarily strong feelings about this, and Red came out, and she voiced her opinion, and she was angry. Um, that is one of the other parts, is Red. So I met Lola Blue, I met Red, and then one day when I was scrolling down Twitter and I was writing on Twitter, I for some reason kept putting this meme up of this, well, it's a woman in the meme, a short-haired, you know, androgynous blonde woman, but she kind of looked masculine and 
and she would open a door and go like this, like she had flair. And I, for some reason, kept repeatedly posting that, and that is how I met Flair, my 17-year-old male alter. Um, there are also two smalls, which I will not talk about, and there's a poet, at least I know, and I'm, I am not one of these people who is far along in their disorder, although I've had it my whole life, and had I known years ago, my life would have been very different. It would have been very different. So I'm sort of making this video, these, I'm going to start making videos, because I need to document this journey. I have a lot, I assume, because I feel it, but I don't have any conscious, concrete awareness, I do think I have a lot of amnesic barriers, and the parts I do know are not the only parts, and I assume they've surfaced because I stopped a certain medication and the stresses of the times, um, the virus being a constant threat and source of fear. And so I guess I am trying to document my journey and I am aspiring to educational videos, not that they will all be, and not that they are educational at all yet. I hope you will come on this journey with me if you are an empathetic and cool person who does not judge people. And just know this is as confusing as it is for me as it is for you. <laughs> because I'm just starting. I'm literally about two, three months into this and I do not have a therapist. I'm doing this on my own because I do not have the finances to have a therapist right now. So that is why I'm reaching out to the DID community on YouTube and I know that's a really kind of crazy not crazy, I'm not calling anybody crazy, I'm saying the act of reaching out over a public space seems a little nuts to me, but I am not in a position to refuse any support. Um, I could use support is what I'm saying. <laughs> so to the entropy system and to dissociated and multiplicity in me, I will say thank you because you are the first videos I saw on YouTube related to DID. And they have helped me immensely with the intense anxiety and fears that I have. And still have, I mean, I still have them, but I mean, they've helped organize some concepts, helped me understand a few things, and I appreciate them immensely. And hopefully one day I can be similar to you guys and help people who are like me right now just kind of in the forest trying to figure it out and kind of fearful kind of excited <laughs> I don't know how to explain it and okay so I'm Brandy nice to meet you that's my first video subscribe don't subscribe do whatever you want um, and have a good day hopefully I'll see y'all soon bye